Today we wrap up our look at colorectal cancer and what you can do to increase your chances of surviving it. So if it has been detected in you or a loved one, what's the next step? Dr. Peter Enivers here to tell us about the treatment options. He's an oncology and hematology specialist at Cone Health Cancer Center at Med Center High Point and a member of the Cone Health Medical Group. Good morning. Morning, glad to be here. It is a it is a, a tough diagnosis, but what are the options? What what can you talk to people about as far as, as treatment options? Well, really for treatment options, chemotherapy probably has reached its maximum and the really the advances that we've made mm -hmm. are sort of to the add-ons that we have with chemotherapy okay and the add-ons we know about because we now have a much better understanding of the molecular basis of colon cancer and we can do sophisticated testing now and tailor our treatments to each specific patient. No, when you talk about add-ons, mm -hmm. like like what? You would go through a course of chemotherapy, but well, then you, you try additional treatments beyond that. Right? Usually we, with chemotherapy, we can add on special treatments. We can add on a blood vessel blocker. Mm -hmm. We can add on a growth factor inhibitor. Right. And in some patients, which is rare, we can actually add on immunotherapy so that we get a better response. So this it comes down to tailoring a treatment exactly. for an individual patient. Exactly. We're doing this for all of our cancers now. Colon cancer is sort of out in front of this. And again, patient survival is improving. And, and this, you know, you could have two people who seem very similar, both mm -hmm. males in their 50s that would, that would have problems. Mm -hmm. But again, because of, of a variety of factors, mm -hmm. it could, could happen that way. Now, what does family history play into this? How family history go? definitely is important. And I think the real key with family history is that those family members need to be tested earlier on in life so that they can catch any colon cancer more earlier. What you, so you would look for markers, I guess, in, in, in the blood or, or something of that nature? Um, or how do, how do, you, how do not, you? Not so much with that. There, mm -hmm. are, there are genetic conditions mm -hmm. in families. The biggest one's called Lynch syndrome. Really? And uh, those family members have a very high risk of colon cancer. And those family members often need to be uh, screened when they're starting in their early 40s. We are uh, hearing a lot about, unfortunately, because of Alex Trebek, about sure. pancreatic cancer mm -hmm. and, and being something that is usually caught late. What about colon cancer? Are screenings better oh. at catching that? Uh, studies clearly have shown that screenings improve survival, and studies have shown that the risk of colon cancer is going down mm -hmm. because of screening. Okay, And we know that colon cancer all start in polyps, mm -hmm. and the change from a polyp to colon cancer, it takes about 10 years. Okay. And through that 10 year time period, screening can be very effective in finding a polyp and taking it out before it becomes cancerous. So that's why if you're scheduled for, for, for a screening, do it. if it's a, your significant other, mm -hmm. encourage them and exactly. say, this is the way you ward off problems. Exactly, that. exactly. I've always said the best screening test is the one that the patient will do. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much for talking about this. Was, we appreciate you talking about some of the advances there. It's interesting. It's my pleasure. I'll tell you what, you can learn more about colorectal cancer at something. It's, it's actually kind of a neat event, the Strolling Colon Events. Cone Help offers across the Piedmont. It is a 12-foot inflatable colon you can walk through and learn more. It's a neat educational experience happening tomorrow 11 to 2 at Holly Hill Mall in Burlington or go to the one next Saturday, March 16th at the McGirt Horton Branch at the Greensboro Public Library on Phillips Avenue. Then on Monday, Cone Health is hosting an education series on early detection and surgical approaches to colorectal cancer at the Cone Health Cancer Center at Wesley Long Hospital, 6 to 7 p.m. Give them a call to pre-register conehealth.com slash classes or at the number on your screen there, 336-832-8000. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.